I have goosebumps. Hey, what's up, you guys? You know, I bought this sweater, turtleneck, short sleeve thing months ago, and I've never found a reason to wear it, and I think I'm realizing why. <laughs> One, it's not that cute. Two, it's so fucking impractical. Short sleeve, sweater, turtleneck. So this week, uh, all the other weeks, like the past, I feel like three or four weeks have been very sad, very sulky, very not fun. So this week I wanna keep it light and I wanna do sort of like a little throwback video. So today I had the idea to look through my old blog. It's my current blog, connorfranta.tumblr.com, but if you search close enough, you can find what old Connor was like because I've had this blog for five years, so. Yeah, let's just dig into it. Record. Oh, is it doing it? Great. Technology. Connorfranta.tumblr.com. You know, they say you should learn from your past. You should be proud of your past. That past you is still you, but I feel like I disagree. A lot of you are gonna wanna search through this and use these photos against me, but joke's on you. I'm probably gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete all the evidence. So don't get any ideas. I used to be what some people call a hipster, or more so a hipster wannabe. So we're gonna search my Tumblr blog for hipster. Oh God, as we scroll lower, this is gonna be... Okay, let's see, first one here. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's like my old merchandise. That's a pretty, that's a pretty cute photo, not gonna lie. This is me in South Africa. Oh my gosh, I remember, I remember buying, I remember buying those boots and thinking they were like the cool, I remember just this outfit, me thinking it was like the coolest thing ever. I'm literally wearing all black and brown boots. Me judging myself when I'm wearing a blue turtleneck. This was me at Tumblr. Breaking some sort of barrier there. I always, I always go for, look at this, me looking down my back, my ass. Look at that ass. Look at that ass. He got ass. Oh my God, what is this? Hipster Jesus loved you before you were cool. There's so many things wrong with that. Oh God, I can't believe I reblogged that. Ew. Five years ago, I reblogged a picture of money. Just money. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God, the caption is cash money. No. Oh my God. Wait, wait. This is my own picture. When did I, when did I, when was I? Wow, I think I was a drug dealer in my past and I just forgot about it. Let's tag art. Art, why not art? The first thing that comes up is the emoji challenge video I did. <laughs> art, art. <laughs> oh, this is actually great. Like this first photo, this is the museum here in Los Angeles. So it was accurately tagged. That's a cute photo. Oh, also art. I'm actually accurately tagging myself. This is Anish Kapoor. Look him up, he has done the bean in Chicago. That bean, that he made that. Okay, I'm boring you. You're all asleep or have clicked out. <laughs> Some latte art. Oh my God, <gasps> glow paint jars. I remember when I did that video. Ooh, 49 notes, slay me. <laughs> slay me past self. I did a video called glow paint jars and it failed and it was horrible. I thought it was gonna be cool, but it really wasn't at all. It didn't work out. It just looked like it didn't look like glow paint in a jar. Let's put it that way. What about like tagged cute? This is actually all cute things that I've reblogged. Literally animals. What does this image say? Because the spaces between my fingers are right where yours fit perfectly. <laughs> cringy past, cringy past, cringy past. Okay, typing in tag slash me. Start at the way beginning. What is the first tag slash me? Oh, good lord. I'm going to regret putting this online. Oh my god, I was such a fuckboy. I was such a fuckboy. Like, what am I doing? I bought Ray-Bans and I thought I was the coolest person in the world. And then I learned how to edit in Photoshop. What am I doing? This is when I broke my thumb. Don't know why I posted that to Tumblr, but I broke my thumb swimming. Oh my god. How can my mouth do that? It's defying anatomy. My mouth is defying Defying gravity, defying anatomy. And it's, oh God, that's horribly edited. <laughs> Speaking of horribly edited. <laughs> I remember when I first found out how to do this in Photoshop where you can make some things 
black and white and you can make something else color and I like photoshopped the shit out of my eye like it doesn't even look like my eye I saturated it and whatever else look at that Yep, I used to think it was so cool. I used to think I was so cool with this too. This image right here, I thought I was so cool because I learned how to Photoshop. So I Photoshopped a galaxy into my hands. Murder me. And then I Photoshopped the solar system in my hands. Actually bury me alive. What, what was I thinking? What kind, horrible angle. My hair is gross, I just. This is all such a throwback. This photo, I remember, again, I remember taking these and just thinking I was so cool. I had like a good camera. Like why, am, it's not even like this. I'm like pretending to be straight. Oh no, what is this video? There's a video. I have goosebumps. Oh my god, I feel physically ill. I have goosebumps. This, oh my god, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is when I got a fisheye lens and I thought I was cool. Everything just is when I used to think I was something I wasn't. Oh yes, and here is this picture. I'm not gonna lie, I think that is the best I've ever looked. I look really good. I'm not even gonna call myself a fuckboy. I look great in that photo. How? I look good. I feel like I just look like a twink. <laughs> also, I low-key want that sailor hat again. You know, that's that that's gonna be, that's that for now. <laughs> We're gonna slowly push that away and pretend I'm not gonna put this on the internet for everyone to see what am I thinking. I'm gonna delete half of that. I'm not letting that surface fully, Jesus. Woo! I can't believe I actually got goosebumps from my cringy past. That is a, an all-time, High, all time low. Could be both. It's kind of a high because I'm so over my past. But that was me. That was my past me. See, growth happens if you, like, that glow up is iconic. Gone from fuckboy to LGBT activist. Honestly, I couldn't be more proud of me. <laughs> okay, but that's all I got for you guys this week. If you want to follow me on Tumblr, my Tumblr is Connor Franta. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, anything, it's just at Connor Franta. Also, if you want to pre order my new book, Click right here and go pre-order my new book. We went to number one on Barnes & Noble and number five on Amazon. That was amazing and it, I freaked. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to click the thumbs up. If I get enough thumbs up, I'll do another one. There's plenty more cringe in there. Also leave a comment down below. What is your cringiest moment ever in life? Please make me feel better about myself. Okay, hope you guys have a great week. I love you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Do, 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 do. Bye.